Hi, my name is Chen Chenwei, a graduate student in National Defense Medical Center, Taipei, Taiwan. I am pleased to introduce the research about this article. Gene therapy is thought to have great potential for novel treatment of acquired disease as well as inherited genetic disease. Many human diseases have been associated with specific gene overexpression. The ability of SNI to be used to silence gene expression has become a useful tool for investigating gene function. In addition, it is used in the pharmaceutical industry to develop college agents. RPC play an important role in colloidal neovascular radiation by the overexpression of androgenic factors. Thus, RPC is a promising target site for SNI used to prevent colloidal neovascular radiation in patients with age-related molecular degeneration by inhibiting the expression of androgenic factor. However, the use of SNI as a therapeutic agent has been complicated by problems such as poor formulation stability, difficulty penetrating biological barriers, and low delivery efficiency at target site. Therefore, it is important to develop a delivery system and serve as an effective vector for SRA. The purpose of this study was to develop an effective lipid based gene vector associated with RGD peptide for targeting intergreen receptor and enhancing SI delivery to the RPE cell. This study was step by step as following. Functional lipid DSPP GRGD was synthesized using DSPP G melanimide and stimulated RGD peptide. The formation of the desired compound was further confirmed by a multi-top mass. Incorporate DSPP G or DSPP G RGD into a liposome formulation. Traditional liposome or RGD modified liposome was prepared by simple hydration method, then passed through an extruder to uniform the particle size. The characterization of the investigated liposome, including data potential, particle size, size distribution, transmission electron microscope. A model gene band SRNA was used for preparing fluorescent labeled liposome with SRNA. Following RPE cell was treated with this liposome preparation. After four hours later, fan SI uptake intensity in the cell was determined by flow cytometry. The fan SI distribution within the cells was also observed by confocal images. The results show successful synthesis of the functional lipid DSPPGRGD, which could be incorporated into a liposome formulation that was prepared and loaded with SRNA for effective delivery into RP cell. The RGD modified liposome demonstrate a positive charge and low size below 200 nm, high intravenous efficiency, low cytotoxicity, and high level of SRNA delivery efficiency compared to traditional liposome. Furthermore, the result of antibody blocking assay confirmed that receptor mediated endocytosis was involved in the cell uptake of RGD modified liposome. This result provides a methodology for SRI delivery system. Finally, I hope the finding will be of interest for the readers of the International Journal of Nanomedicine. Thanks for your attention.